So one way we can enforce input validation is anytime you set one of the variables, we can do input validation there. We can do whitelist validation or blacklist validation, right? Again, nothing revolutionary in that concept. So we're going to look particularly at set name. That's the thing that we want to protect, but we're going to do it without changing any of the existing source files. So three steps to convert something to an Aspect J application. Number one, download the Aspect J toolkit for Eclipse. Number two, right click on the project and say convert to Aspect J. And number three, we need to copy one runtime library, just like a DLL, right, into our compilation path, which is what we're doing here, Aspect J RT. We throw it into our web INF. And that's it. We have an Aspect J application, okay? That's all it takes to convert from your regular Java app to an Aspect J app. And it's just as easy to go back. And that's the key here. You don't like it, you go back. You simply remove any Aspect J stuff, you remove the JAR file, you right click on it and say convert back to Java. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're going to do something called creating an aspect. An aspect is a lot like an object. So we're going to just do the same thing as we would normally do in Eclipse. We're going to say new, but instead of a class, we create an, uh, an aspect. And that aspect's going to have a package, just like a class has a package. That aspect's going to have a name, just like a class has a name. Okay, that aspect can have fields and methods, just like a class does. And we're going to hit finish. And there it is, very simple and straightforward. So we've already created a more complicated one. I'm going to copy and paste that in. This is the input validator aspect. At a, at a high level, we're going to take some kind of input, we're going to match it against this regular expression, do whitelist validation, and if there's an issue, we're going to throw an illegal argument exception. Okay? That's what we want to do with this aspect. Notice you have the class or aspect name, you have private variables just like normal, but you have a few other kind of funky things, and we'll talk about that in a sec. So the first one we're going to look at is a point cut. The point cut, remember, the, remember my example where I was the aspect? Point cut says where in the program execution we're going to change the flow, we're going we're to inspect things. So I was doing before Frank caught the ball, basically before person.catch executed, I looked at the ball and I rejected it, okay? That's a point cut and you can dynamically, you can basically change that at any point. You can define a whole bunch of objects that you want to point cut on or you can say just one. So over here, what we're saying is, on the execution of the new lead object, and notice the star. That star is the return type. Okay, so if we go back here, we know it's void. What we're saying is we don't care about what the return type is. New lead bean is the class, and then we have set star. Well, set name or set campaign type, they all satisfy set star. And then we have string, so we need to have a string argument. So just to clarify, this is telling us how to match, right? What's the return type? What's the class type? We could specify a wildcard in the class type and say every class, or we could say every class from a package. We could say every class that's a subtype of a certain type. Um, and then we have the methods. We could give specific method names or we could use wildcards for method names. And then we have the arguments. Same deal, okay? We get really kind of a lot of flexibility here. And then we have our argument. Don't worry about the syntax, but what we're saying is this string argument we're going to pass and use later on, okay? So now we've saved it. The next piece here is our before advice. And what we're saying is before this executes, any of these setter methods, which is string argument actually execute, we're going to do all of this crap. Okay, so this is whatever, uh, some, some null checking, and then we're going to do a regular expression check. And if it doesn't match, we throw our exception. And if it does match, everything goes on as if nothing happened. 
Okay. Notice this little arrow. This is a visualization tool that helps us to tell where things are happening. And that's a very important thing when we ha come to aspects. We need to know what's happening. So here we have this arrow, and it corresponds to this. Before any of these methods execute, this is going to happen. Okay? So it allows us for some traceability. A lot of people think when you look at aspects, it changes the execution of code, and you have no idea what's going on. So we have visualization tools to help us with that. So notice then that we also have these little arrows in our original source code saying what they're advised by. Again, we didn't change the actual source code, but the execution will change. Okay, campaign type will also fit that. Now let's go back to the actual application and see it work. Okay, we're going to log in again. This is, by the way, uh, vulnerable to one equals one injection. They never fixed that. But that's a different story. So let's go to the new lead, and let's add the new lead. Okay, Same thing as we did before, script, alert, script. But notice, despite the ugly stack trace that they should never have had in the first place, it's a really bad application. Um, the exception got propagated, and we have application security attack thwarted. So moral of the story here is that we didn't change the source code, but we were able to stop an application security attack. And we can really extend this to be a very, very powerful concept. So before I go on, does anyone have any questions on what we just saw? Sure. Go. Yes, so that's true, but that's true for any solution that you have to it, right? You can always miss. It, the, the point here is that it's easier to, to add to it, right? You don't have to change the source code. You can just change the point cut, right? Uh, so two quick questions. Sure. Um, one, what type of performance hit are you looking at? Excellent two, question. Uh, is there any way to get something a little more elegant than just uh, a nasty stack trace? Uh, sure. Both good questions. So the stack trace is, by the way, the application was developed. But with, uh, and I'm going to address this one first. What we can do in Aspect J is we can actually catch exceptions if we wanted to, and we could give a much more elegant return. Of course, what they should have done is they should have defined their web.xml better, but that's a different story. We can catch all of these kinds of vulnerabilities. Um, performance impact, we'll get back to later, OK? I'm sorry, say that again? Yeah. Uh, what, so you're saying if if uh, yeah. Yes, you can. So in Aspect J, the question was if you have uh, applications right now where you have methods that are not handling exceptions, can you do that through Aspects? And the answer is yes. You can add that functionality in. It's going to modify the compiler. It's going to fi you have to use a different compiler, and that's how it works. And that actually comes about down to the performance impact, which we'll talk about later. Is there certain circumstances where it might just be easier to change the code, like try catch find leads instead of like doing it? Yes, there are some instances where that makes sense. Uh, Aspect A is not the final solution to everything. Uh, sometimes you don't have a chance to modify source code, and uh, what we're going to talk about a little later on is, in some cases, it modularizes in a better way that it makes sense to do it this way. If there's no more questions, we'll move on. I have one. OK. Nish? OK. In, in this scenario, we were doing set something for name. What if I wanted one setter that should not be part of it? Can we actually handle that? Yeah, we can basically define arbitrary point cuts. So we can say not this particular method, but all of these other ones. We can get as granular as we want or as kind of wild card as we want. OK, so just as a quick recap, this is what it looked like. This is all 